Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got here to Summers. We went from winters to summers and we upgraded our equipment at the shop. Everything here in summers is very expensive. It's a tourist trip, as one guy said that we talked to. Um, we got another f uh, memorable photo from the guy who always takes photos. It was like actually right in front of the hotel. Um, and we also, as I said, you know, just, <laughs> things in summer is really expensive. Now I'm just gonna go to the right, cause like, it's again, summer is basically just a big strip, a big like horizontal street that's very long. But yeah. And we're gonna go to the Skyruba, uh, which is a port town, which is like right next to Summers. It's the right of Summers. Oh my gosh, with the Battle of Sign. Well, I could run away from it, but I did run away from a crazy tech cab or whatever in a street sign. And the last part, so I'll face the sky. I forgot to mention um, in that uh, this, this sign says high uh, 40, I believe. So, but it does look like Ohio, like H. O H I O, the way it's like the H's and everything is, it's kind of weird. So let's bash, uh, PSI, uh, freeze beta, I guess, just to see how much it'll do. And shoot, yeah, there we go. Paul goes first because he has a lot of speeds, so that makes sense. Yeah, okay, Jeff. Okay, cool. That worked out good. Stop moving right away after two hits. <laughs> Nessa's friends gain 1,206 experience each. How nice is that? Ah oh man, there's a I think there's a either a car or I think that was a car. Was, a car was going on in the background. Whenever I record my dad's, which I'm recording my dad's for this part and like the last couple parts, or the last part for sure, I know for a fact. I don't know about the last last part. I think it was just the last part in this recording session. Uh, like I, my dad lives um, near like a busy street, so like you hear cars going by if you haven't noticed that before. And whenever I record my dad's, or some of my videos when I. You can hear like cars and stuff, but that's okay. Um, here's a shop. Uh, I don't know if there's really much you want to buy, really. I guess just some items and stuff. Yeah, if you if you want to wait on upgrading your items though, and you don't want to spend a lot of money at Summers because it's expensive there to upgrade your items and equipment, you can, there's actually other towns where you get the same equipment and stuff for cheaper, I believe. But I just wanted to get mine just because I wanted the uh, you know the the stat increases, stat boosts, and the equipment being upgraded, you know, right away, I guess, because I'm, because I guess I was just really impatient with that. Um, you know the Stoic Club in Summers? Yeah, you call it a secret number for a reservation if you'd want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. Well, I warn you though, it's a strange place. And we got the, we got the secret numbers, so that's good. Oh, look, someone's calling Jeff, or uh, calling us. Hello, Jeff. Yeah, okay, I guess he's calling Jeff. Oh, happy day. It's I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff. Hey, here, it's me, Tony. Yeah, his friend in his boarding school. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you... Uh, the one holding the controller. I'm holding the controller, though. <laughs> me, 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 me. Would you like to register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Okay. Look how many characters it actually gives you. So I'm gonna actually do a giant grotal because I can actually do giant grotal for once. It's 11 characters, but in Smash 4 it only lost 10, and Pokemon games it only lost 10. I'm pretty sure still. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it may be an X and Y in the present Pokemon games can have more than 11, but or more than yeah, more than 10. But yeah. Okay. Thing I wanted to go over to A. I guess it's not what you do it. I like the sounds it makes when you click a number. You select the number. There we go, giant girdle. Okay, yeah, giant girdle. Okay. Thanks, good player, game player. Thank you very much. Is this the correct? Giant Grotal. Yep, it's correct. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put your, don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations. Okay, to wait for that. Sorry, I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later, Jeff. I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From T T O N Y Tony. You got that? Well. 
I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Okay. So here's some cats you can talk to, actually. Meow. I think there's an angrier cat. If you, I think this one's the angrier cat. It says, pss, pss, or pss, pss. Yeah, okay. So with that said, we can actually just, um, go over here. Um, it's some, I think it's, uh, the museum. No, but I don't think it's a museum. Could it be the museum? Oh, yeah, the museum actually has a freaky phone you can use. Okay, so it's us the Stoic Club. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, nice, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We'll be looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Click a beep, beep, beep. The Stoic Club is right next door, I think. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, cool. But I'm gonna end the part right here. It's actually a very short part, but it's okay. It's always good to have, you know, shorter parts every now and then, I guess. So yeah, so this has been my Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part will take on the Stoic Club and see what's in there for once. Now that we have a reservation, we call the head. So yeah, so this is Dragon Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.